this video, I'm going to show you how to make surgical masks. The hospitals are in desperate need and we all need to pitch in. We are going to include a video that's going to show you how to make a simpler mask. And then the one I'm making now is slightly more complicated, but it's a little bit of a better fit. So here's the difference. The first video makes this mask really easy. It takes about 15, 20 minutes, but there's no wire on top. So that's open. And this is open down here perfectly serviceable, but this video is going to make this slightly more complex mask, which I've been able to do in 15 minutes. It's really simple. I insert a wire that shapes around the nose and there's a slight tuck under here that gives a really nice shape and a really nice fit to the wearer. I'm going to show you the materials you need to make the cotton washable mask that goes over the N95 mask used by medical professionals. But I'm also going to show you the materials you can use to make yourself a protective mask. For both masks, you need the quarter inch or eighth inch elastic. But for the personal mask, you're going to cut the elastic between seven and eight inches. And you can decide what feels comfortable for you. In between the two pieces of cotton, you're going to insert lightweight, non-woven fusible interfacing, which you're going to iron on to one of the pieces of cotton. And that's what you need to make the personal mask. Okay, so you're gonna take your piece of fabric and your rectangles need to be six inches by nine inches. And uh, don't worry about getting things perfect. These work out really well. So, got my piece of fabric at nine inches. Gonna make a cut, tear that. Okay, your cotton's gonna tear perfectly on grain. Next thing I'm gonna do is 12 inches. That's the shorter side, so I'm actually gonna cut it rather than tear it. Yeah, cut as straight as you can. Fold it in half. And cut right on that edge. You can also make a template with a piece of cardboard, a six by nine inch uh, template, and cut those out, but that's the fastest way that you're gonna get two rectangles. The next thing you need to do is insert the elastic. So, you've got your good side facing your good side. Take your elastic, angle it into that corner, take that corner, put it over, take a pin, if you don't have silk pins, don't worry, use whatever you've got and mimic the angle of the elastic. Now go here. If you can, try to be a little bit mindful not to twist the elastic. It'll be a little more comfortable on the um, wearer's ears, behind their ears. And pin. Flip it. Same thing on the other side. Right up to the corner. Bring your corners together. Angle your pin. You're ready to sew. You're actually going to start right around here. You go to your long side and hit it right around there to start. Okay. And I'm just going to line that up. You could even do that. You don't need a half inch seam is going to be great. Okay. Don't worry about back tacking. It's not important. Stop. Lift. If you leave your needle in there, it's a little bit easier. Slow down, turn. My edge wasn't perfect, doesn't matter. Notice I'm not pinning, again, speed. We need to crank out as many of these as we can, as quickly as we can. They need to be strong because they're gonna be washable. We want these to be used over and over again. And sew right over a silk pin, so much easier. Come in about that far. You need to leave an open. I'm gonna say about that far. Again, don't back tack, you don't need to. Pull it out. Next step. Okay, now we're gonna flip it. Move your pins. Go inside that little hole that you left. Pull that. And 
turn your piece inside out. Pull that. Okay, give a tug, give a tug, flatten it out. Next thing we need to do is insert the wire. Take your wire, floral wire, any thin wire is gonna work great. Go to that opening, insert the wire in, and head that wire straight up for that top seam. Okay, now, now you're feeling. And I'm just sliding that wire up, I can feel it. Okay, you could even shake it like a little bag. Okay, so now, that wire is right there. I can, I can see it and I can feel it. And I'm gonna get it a little centered. Now I'm gonna pinch it as close to that top seam as I can. I can feel it right there. Then I'm gonna take one of my pins and go in and out and come up so I've trapped it. Okay. I'm gonna work my way down the seam. need about five or six pins here and I'm trapping it right up there so it can't move so I'm almost making a little pocket of where it's sitting so I've got that wire stuck up there okay okay the next part are the pleats on the side you need three so fold Pin, when I was doing this at first, I considered measuring. Forget it, you don't need to. You'll get good at it after one. You estimate it and it works out great. Now you gotta go to the other side. Make sure you do them in the same direction. Don't go opposite. Cause this is what makes it fit really nicely around the wearer's face. So you've got your three, your three, your wire. Now, go down to the bottom. The bottom is where you had that little hole. And about the halfway mark, you're gonna do yet another little pleat, okay? And it's gonna help sew up that little hole, but more importantly, it is going to cup under the wearer's chin to give them a fantastic fit. Okay, you're ready to sew. I'm gonna start on the bottom. And here's that little section that needs to be sewn together where the hole was. I have been doing a fairly small seam allowance, very small. Okay, and I'm gonna put it on three. Because you're gonna go around twice, so this is gonna be very secure. Coming up to that little bottom fold that goes under the chin. Now, this is gonna ensure that that elastic doesn't go anywhere. Here we go, we're going over those pleats. Now, we're gonna switch to uh, a zigzag. I'm gonna give that a little bit of width, okay? Let's go ahead and set it there. And what this is gonna do is encase the wire. So, all across the top, we're gonna to zigzag this so that we make a little bit of a casing for that wire. And then right there, I'm gonna switch back. Back to a straight seam. And in the previous video, they asked us to go twice. I think it's a good idea. Because if they wash these as many times as we think they do, that they're planning to, let me throw that in one more time. And don't worry about making it gorgeous. Point is, it's gotta be strong. So these last a long time. Also, when the hospitals receive, and I'm gonna do a straight, straight on here. When the hospitals receive these, they will throw them in the wash. So don't worry 
about feeling like, you know, if you're carrying something that you could be creating something that's infected, they're going to wash these. Here we go, coming back around and we are almost done. This is the first time I'm gonna back tack. All right, pull that out and cut your threads. Okay, we're gonna take out the pins. Try it on. Really nice tuck under the chin. And then I can fit this right to my face. Okay, thanks for watching. Let's all start making these. We really need them. And thanks for helping out.